Hi there, this is General Lexo from ProSectorials, and in this video I'm going to talk about Kindle Spy. This is one of the most popular applications for your browser. You can either use it for Google Chrome or Mozilla, and it allows you to more quickly and easily find profitable keywords for your books, which is one of the most important parts when it comes to building a Kindle business. So in this video, I'm going to basically review this product so you can get a better idea of how Kindle Spy works and what you can do with this application. So let's get started. So once you got Kindle Spy and you receive your login information to your email address and you log in, this is the dashboard that you will be able to see. As you may see, uh, this has other sections besides just Kindle Spy, which you might want to check out. Also, this company has another uh, software called Kiddy Roy, which is another software that you may want to check out and see if it's something that you want. In my case, I'm just using Kindle Spy. On the top section, you have other links to the their softwares, to the training that they have, to the several bonuses, resources, support, and so on. Something that may happen and happened to me initially was once I got this software, I didn't receive my login information such as the username and also the password. So I, would, I wasn't able to log in and get Kindle Spy. So you may want, if that happens to you, it may not happen, but you may want to contact the support team and they will quickly resolve your issue. When it came to me, after a, an hour or so, I had my issue resolved and I was able to get Kindle Spy. So for you to get Kindle Spy and install it on your browser, you click on this section, click to assess. You will find several videos where they explain how you can install this application to your software. As I already said before, you have for Chrome and also for Firefox. And it's pretty simple for you to install this application to your browser. Basically, you just need to click on this link and it automatically installs to your browser. I already have this installed, you can see, because I have the, over here, the small uh, link, the, the small icon for Kindle Spy, which later on I'm good to use. And below, you have a couple of videos that give you more information about how you can use Kindle Spy. So that's exactly what you can find there. So I'm going to, to show you how you can use this software. So I'm going to Amazon. As I already said before, Searching for profitable keywords is one of the, I would say, one of the most important parts when it comes to a Kindle business. It's really what will uh, basically make you money because if you make a book for a keyword that is not profitable, you simply won't make any kind of money when it comes to Kindle publishing. And this is one of the most important parts and it's also one of the parts that is the most time consuming because in my case, I sometimes take a whole week where I'm searching hundreds and hundreds of keywords until I am able to find a selection of profitable keywords. So it's something that is quite time consuming. And if you don't have uh, Kindle Spy installed, it's even more time consuming and more monotonous. Basically what Kindle Spy does is it turns the whole process a lot quicker as I'm going to show to you now. So let's go over here and let's see Let's go to the Kindle store and I'm going to explain to you how you can find profitable keywords using the software. So let's try yoga. I already know that yoga is a profitable keyword. I already know that. And by this I mean that if you're able to rank your book in the front page for yoga, especially on the top five results, you most likely will sell a lot of copies because this is something that a lot of people are searching inside of Amazon and want to purchase books about yoga. So it's a highly profitable keyword. But the problem about yoga is that it's extremely competitive. It's extremely competitive. People are, are constantly publishing new books about yoga. So the problem really about yoga is maintaining your book in the front page of results where people are able to easily find your book and purchase it. So. It's extremely hard for you to be able to do that. Anyway, typically, if you didn't have this application, what you would need to do so you would be able to, to see if this keyword was profitable or not, was you would need to open the, normally the first five top results. I normally open 
new tabs for the first five top results but in this case I'm just going to open the first two ones so you can see what I you would need to do uh, in a normal basis to find profitable keywords you would need to go right below and you would need to see this information over here paid in Kindle store this means that the uh, the higher the ranking is inside of the paid in Kindle store, that means the, the more copies this book is selling inside of the Kindle store. And usually you want to find the first top results appearing in this listing below 100,000 in the paid in Kindle store because that means that those books are selling quite decently inside of Kindle. You can see in this case that this book which is the first result is way above 100,000. However, even though it's not selling virtual copies, it's probably selling more inside of in the, the paperback version. It's selling more paperback versions of this book. And I'm going to actually to select the paperback so I can see this information. And once I go below, you can see Amazon bestseller rank. You can see when it comes to the paperback is selling extremely well this is selling a lot of books in the paperback this ranking is really really good anyway let's get to the second book and basically repeat the same process you can see that in this case this second book is below the 100,000 in the paid in Kindle store so this book is selling quite decently and you want to find the first top results with the books normally ranking below the 100,000 uh, in the page in Kindle store because that means that these books are selling well and if you are able to rank your book in the first five top re results for the particular keyword that you want most likely you will also sell well basically that is what it means and you can see that doing this process in the normal way by opening several tabs is quite time consuming, especially when you need to do it for hundred and hundred of keywords so you can you are able to find profitable keywords that don't have so much competition as yoga. And by using Kindle Spy, basically all you need to do is just click on this small icon and you immediately get all of this information that you need in one place. You can easily see all of the rankings for the books appearing in this listing. If you want to get more results, you can click on this small in this link here to pull the results also on that on the second page for yoga. But you can quickly see that this keyword yoga is profitable because most books are below the 100,000 in the paid and Kindle store. So these books are selling well when it comes to the Kindle version. So you can easily see that this is a profitable keyword, but you can also get easily other information such as the number of reviews. You can see the number of reviews over here. You can see the monthly revenue, basically the, the amount of money that these books are earning in a monthly basis. And this is just an estimate. It doesn't really mean that these books are doing this money. It may be probably these books are doing more money than this or not. You can also see the total monthly revenue once again, it's just an idea. Also, the estimate number of sales that these books are doing. Once again, this is just an estimate. It's not really the the the. It, it's not really the 100% uh, truthful uh, fact that these books are selling this number of sales. It's just an idea. Also, the pricing for each book and the number of pages. Now. What I can easily see just by looking at this information is one, these books are selling well, two, these books have plenty of reviews, and if you are a new author and nobody knows you, then it's extremely hard for you to get, for example, let's say 90 reviews for your book to be able to compete with these books. You can see that most of the authors that are ranking for yoga has a keyword are popular or famous authors because of the number of reviews that they have. I mean, this is amazing number of reviews. 373 reviews is a lot of reviews. So you can easily see that for you to be able to compete for this keyword, you would need to get a fair amount of reviews, which is quite hard. And actually the only book that is ranking over here with four reviews has a sales rank that is 
way above 100,000. So this book is not selling uh, basically anything in Kindle. And the other information that is quite important is also the number of pages that each book has. You can see that these books have a, a, a good length when it comes to the, the number of pages that each book has. You can see that the first book has uh, 400 pages. So these books are all lengthy in size. So for you to be able to have a book ranking for yoga, then you would also ha need to have a lengthy book. And you can see that the only book that has uh, three, three, uh, 36 pages, this book is not selling well. So that means that for you to, to, to sell well when it comes to yoga, most likely you would need to have a lengthy book. And it's, it's, it's maybe quite, quite hard for you to, to compete with that. So this gives you a quick idea of if this keyword is profitable or not, and also if it's a keyword that you can compete for or not. So this is basically the analysis that I do each time that I click on this button for Kindle Spy. Below you can also get other information. You can export this information to your computer. You can click on the help button so you can get more information inside of their website. You can also see this information over here, this analysis. Um, this gives an analysis of the competition, the potential, and also the popularity. I really don't use this information here. I basically just do the analysis that I just showed to you. And basically, this is what, what I do each time that I go to a, a new keyword. Then you can go to keyword analysis. And you can see, once again, the basically gives you an idea if these books are well optimized for the keyword yoga. You can see that uh, all of these books inside of this listing have uh, yoga inside of their title. So they have all these yoga appearing inside of their title, which is something that you need to do if you want to rank well for a particular keyword. So you need to optimize your title for, in this case, for yoga. So you can easily see that these books are well optimized. Also, they have the keyword inside of their description. So it's another thing that you need to to be able you need to do if you want to optimize your book for a particular keyword, uh, the ranking, the reviews, and also here you can easily see by the the green spaces over here which are the books with the best sales rank inside of Kindle. Then you can go to Word Cloud, and this allows you to see the most common used words inside of the titles. You can see that. Yoga, of course, is the most uh, common word used inside of the titles of these books. Then you also have uh, poses, body, and this gives you an idea of other uh, possible keywords that you can do. For example, you can combine yoga poses. This might be another keyword that you might want to check out. Uh, yoga practice, uh, yoga body, probably, I'm not sure. Yoga mind, you also have other keywords over here, so you may want to try. Yoga Sutras might be another keyword that you may want to check out. So this allows you to quickly get this information. Also over here you have some links, which I often don't use much, but you can click on this small T and it gives you more specific information about a particular book. This over here goes to Google, opens a, a new tab for you to see this book inside of Google and it's not that important. Or you can also click over here and it's another link where, which opens uh, the link to this book so you can see it individually. So this is the kind of information that you can get over here. And let's actually try another keyword. Let's try yoga poses. So yoga poses. And let's see if this is a profitable keyword. So I click over here and I basically repeat the same analysis that I just did previously and I can see easily that this keyword just by the cell rank is not profitable because most of these books have a, a sales rank way above 100,000. That means that if I wrote a book about yoga poses, most likely I wouldn't sell a lot of copies or any copies at all because these books aren't selling well for yoga poses. So, I mean, it's pretty... It's kind of common sense. I mean, if these books aren't selling well for 
yoga poses then if you publish a book focusing on this this keyword with yoga poses then most likely your book wouldn't sell uh, well also only if you are a really famous author or something like that so basically that is what you can do with Kindle Spy. It just turns the whole process a lot quicker because it puts all of the information in one place and you don't need to go on and open new tabs and do all sorts of things to find this information. And that is all for this video. If you have any comments related to Kindle Spy, just leave on the comment section right below from this video. You also have a link to this software on the description from this video, which you may click and immediately go to their page so you can get this product. And that is all for this video. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress and internet marketing and a lot more. Stay there, stay tuned with Pro Site Tutorials, and bye! Let's <laughs>